But a signing like Will Ospreay, because of his, we'll say, status as the wrestler that he is right now, do you think that could potentially open the door, the forbidden door, that he wouldn't be a WWE superstar, but it would end up being a very similar contract to what guys in All Elite and Impact do, where they can go and, you know, wrestle for AAA. You know, Mm -hmm. they can go to New Japan Mm -hmm. uh, because they're not tied down to one company. Mm -hmm. Could Will Ospreay be that guy? If there's any guy to be that guy, Mm -hmm. it's Will Ospreay. Yeah, and I think that before we got cut off, I believe I said that yesterday that I feel like that would make the most sense. And I think it would possibly be the key to uh, signing him. I feel like I understand if they say, okay, no more AEW with us. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, as far as competition goes, AEW is at the front um, uh, against WWE. So I wouldn't be surprised if they say, okay, you know, you can do a New Japan thing. You can do indie stuff. You can do whatever. You just Mm -hmm. can't do elite stuff. I think that might be the way that they could secure him because that's what he's gotten so used to doing. He's been able to do whatever he wanted, wrestle whoever he wanted, where he wanted, when he wanted. So um, I feel like that would be the best scenario because they're still benefiting from him being there. And the possibilities, like he could jump to NXT, which is another great option because, again, he doesn't have to be there every week. If he's on Raw, SmackDown, or NXT, it doesn't matter. But, like, come on. Like, this feels like the NXT black and gold era triple H signing. So it feels like now that he's in charge of WWE, like get this shit done, do yeah, it. Absolutely do it. And do it. I, I, I don't disagree with what you're saying about no all elite. It's very possible. I'm not throwing yeah. that out the window. However, it, it feels inevitable that one day, whether that's five years, 10 years, 15 years down the line, it, with the way the the wrestling climate is, I could really see like a, an all elite WWE show facing off. Yeah, I think that's very much down the line. I like, I mean, it, the fact that Tony Khan was just having a, an emotional breakdown on Twitter over losing to NXT, I don't see that happening anytime soon. It's down, yeah, down the line. <laughs> yeah, like it, it, it's not happening in the next year or two, but we we are seeing how wrestling is right now where it's not just WWE and WCW or WWE, WCW and ECW. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a lot of promotions that have a lot of unbelievable talent. I mean, Mm -hmm. just look at the PWI ratings. I've Mm -hmm. seen them for God's sakes. Limitless. Some has some of the best wrestling talent uh, in new England and look at the guys that have came out of there. Even Cody Rhodes made an appearance for limitless and, I, I just I see the forbidden door being slowly oh creaked open day by day. Will Osprey would be a guy to boot, big boot it mm-hmm. wide open. And it feels like something Triple H would do. Like I feel like if Osprey was a free agent and Vince was still in charge, I don't think we'd see Osprey in WWE. No, 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 not just because Osprey wouldn't want to work with Vince, but I feel like Vince would be like, no, like he's been too much, you know, he's been too over there and too over there. Like, mm-mm. he doesn't you know see I mean? the big brain. I, right. I have a theory. A town, town. I have a theory that the like every, you know, vi- or let me just explain it before I get ahead of myself. Um, when Vince took over from Vince Senior, mm-hmm. Vince Senior said, "Do not buy the territories." Do not mm-hmm. monopolize the territories. What did he do? Yeah. He monopolized the territories. Mm-hmm. Triple H takes over. And B- Vince's biggest fear or biggest, you know, no, no. Yeah. Was to not recognize the other promotions. Mm-hmm. That's that's gone. We're already seeing them allude to it on commentary. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we've I, I'm 90 percent sure of this, that Triple H has been on record talking about other promotions. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's something that they wouldn't do. So the next step in all of that is to not only recognize them, but potentially do a show with them because the money and the pay-per-view sales 
not only the pay-per-view sales, the ticket sales from that would be so beneficial for your company that it would end up benefiting both sides. Well, and we'll have to see because now we have to remember the Endeavor part of it now. It's not yeah. just up to Triple H now. Oh, no, it's up to like a whole so, board of whatnot. So. Yeah, so they're going to want to determine that too, you know, like, and they probably have more final say in it than anything. You don't so think Dana w- White would be into that though? No, I, I, it's, it's possible, but they also, mm-hmm. they are also very competitive when it comes to alternate companies to UFC and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're very close minded on that idea too, because you know, you'll never see UFC partnered with their competition or their alternative you know so Mm -hmm. i don't know it really it really depends on how they view it and what they think would be best Mm -hmm. um i don't know and we i don't think that they've the partnership hasn't been around long enough to really have like a real opinion about what we think will or will will not happen you know agreed 